All righty. For those of you that have been following the videos over the last week, you know that there is random signs of construction showing up at Dinosaurs Alive in Planet Snoopy. Well, yesterday at Winterfest, we found even more signs stretching over a even larger plot of land of how big this project could potentially be. And I have a really good idea of what it's going to end up being. So I'm going to discuss everything in this video, and I'm going to try and go over every possible detail on why I think it's going to be what I think it's going to be. With that being said, the markers stretch all the way from the start beginning of Dinosaurs Alive, all the way to the exit, the current Santa's workshop, or not Santa's workshop, but letters to Santa. Um, on top of that, there's water main markers, there's gas line markers, there's electrical markers, and there's excavation markers, orange, as well. They are appear to be marking old cement things that were in there, um, as well as there is construction fencing all along ba the backside of Dinosaurs Alive as well with hard hat requirement signs and everything. So it is definitely becoming extremely interesting. We're looking for any further signs as to what it could be, but as you could tell in the original shot that you saw filmed literally a week ago to now, more stakes are appearing. Here is the backside of Dinosaurs Alive, the exit. You can currently view this at Letters for Santa. There is a lot of stakes back here, a lot of red and orange ones, and then there's a few blue ones down by the water um, and in Wild Beasts' little turnaround area. So it is definitely getting extremely, extremely interesting. Now, what shocks me about some of these markers um, and the location is I was really damn confident that Action Theater was our 2023 edition. Furthermore... I was heavily confident we were getting a flying theater in 2023, and I was willing to put money down on that. So with this current development and talking to a few higher ups at Canada's Wonderland at Winterfest, um, I've learned that families and kids are actually making up a huge percentage of uh, the, the attendance this year at Canada's Wonderland. That's led me to think that maybe our additions have moved forward or backwards, depending on what edition it is. I know that's a huge stretch, but hear me out. I think that Action Theater, a flying theater, was supposed to come in 2023, um, but maybe with COVID um, and what happened during the previous pandemic that Wonderland went through, and we've heard it in Stockholders Call, Wonderland is moving up a coaster edition to 2023 to draw attendance back. Or, furthermore, just to help with the attendance and the huge crowding issue that Planet Snoopy and the kids' area is having. Now, there is one specific coaster that Cedar Fair, or company that Cedar Fair has started to work with, Gert Slauer, um, that builds a very, very um, accommodating roller coaster. One that you could see at Dollywood called Fire Chaser Express that fits the bill for that area. In fact, it has a minimum height requirement of 39 inches, whereas Lucy's Tugboat, it's like 40 inches or 41 or 42, something like that, really high. So when you compare the minimum height requirement of something like you're seeing on the screen right now to what's currently in Planet Snoopy, this seems like a heavy, sorry, I keep using the word heavy. This seems like a very high possibility as to something that Cedar Fair could be wanting for Canada's Wonderland. It's got a really great capacity. It's got a really low height requirement and it's great for the families and it would be a crowd pleaser and eater and they could um, theme it to Camp Snoopy. Along with that, you know, you could see like some indoor restaurants built around it because we know that Camp Snoopy or Planet Snoopy needs it. And I think that this would be an overall amazing addition at Canada's Wonderland and for the kids and families and even the adults. OK, anyone who's actually rode this knows that it's actually a lot of fun. And I think that it would be number four at Canada's Wonderland, to be honest, if it was built. Something similar to this, obviously. I don't know what Canada's Wonderland and Cedar Fair would choose to build. Obviously, I'm just showing an example of a Gert Slauer family coaster that was built at another park, but nonetheless, um, it's super exciting. Having signs of anything at your home park is exciting for any enthusiast, but I decided to highlight the plot of land where these markers stem. So it's a very large plot of land, um, and I wanted to touch a base on the gray circled area. So that is the approximate location of the old aquarium, and Wonderland, when they built Dinosaurs Alive, did not actually remove the aquarium. They just buried it in. My understanding is that Wonderland is probably going to be going in and removing that aquarium to make room for whatever's coming, as well as removing water mains, electrical, and all that in, uh, to prep for land prep. 
And what we're looking at in terms of Planet Snoopy is actually for 2023 and could actually potentially be for 2024, but I am hearing 2023. That's where things get interesting, and I'm still not giving up hope on the uh, the 2023 action theater. Um, but it, it's just, to be honest, it's really confusing. I did not think Wonderland was due for a roller coaster of any kind um, in 2023. In fact, there are other parks that need it more, Cedar Point. Um, but, I mean, maybe Wonderland was bumped up. We've seen Wonderland bumped down. Um, a couple years with Yukon Striker, we were supposed to get in 2016 and it opened in 2019. So we know Cedar Fair does this. I know there's going to be a lot of enthusiasts that are like, no, that's not going to happen, blah, blah, blah. But regardless of your opinions and you wanting your home park to get a coaster, there is proof in the pudding that Cedar Fair does make executive decisions to move up or move down roller coaster additions. And with Canada's Wonderland being one of the most heavily um, affected parks by COVID, um, in terms of its attendance, and if you go read the stockholders' call, a lot of the American parks are actually doing really great for Cedar Fair, and Canada's Wonderland has definitely been slightly impacted uh, attendance-wise. In fact, uh, anyone that's been going to Winterfest can tell that it is impacting Winterfest attendance, even with no restri- uh, attendance restrictions in place right now, and actually a larger attendance um, allowance currently at Winterfest. It is nowhere near 2019 levels. I can actually confidently tell you that our numbers are much much lower than 2019 and that is definitely sending a message to cedar fair that they need some sort of roller coaster open during winterfest i don't know gert Slowers, and i don't know how well they run in the winter and i'm not saying that this is going to be a winterfest um roller coaster but if anyone looks at any tiktok of wonderland's winterfest people are complaining about the ride selection um so cedar fair may be looking at adding a few more winter proof rides for winterfest um, Winterfest was an extremely successful event, and when you see attendance kind of drop, I know it could be COVID. Some people may be scared to go out, and it could be that. But based off of comments, which we would view as guest satisfaction scores or guest satisfaction or guest comments, uh, people are a little disappointed in the ride selection um, and don't necessarily view Wonderland as worth the trip. I strongly disagree. I think that's actually I think that opinion is pretty garbage. Wonderland has entertainment, food. Um, the less, uh, the best light display you can possibly imagine and some of the best photo ops. So to me, I think it's the dream event. But according to your teenagers on TikTok, uh, they, they're, they're wanting more. Aside from that, though, um, I don't know what else they could be building back there. I think Camp Snoopy is a great uh, secondary option. I mean, it could be Camp Snoopy and the roller coaster. Uh, but Wonderland does currently own like every possible flat ride you can possibly imagine for kids. So I can't see this being a flat ride. It's too large of a pot of land. I think it's pretty comfortable to predict that this is going to be a roller coaster. It doesn't have to be the Gert Slower that I showed you guys on the screen. Um, but I think that Gert Slower would be the best bet with its minimum height requirement. Um, we already have a kid's wooden roller coaster. We have a kid's suspended coaster. And we have the kid's steel sit-down coaster. Um, so I definitely think they're going to, I am for that very kid family orientation roller coaster that could suit everyone at Wonderland. Uh, so I don't know. I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section down below. Um, what do you think about, uh, this very large plot of land and its current signs of development? And what do you think is coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2023? Comment down below. I'll respond to as many as possible. Thanks so much for watching the video today. Have a good one. Bye.